Hello everybody. Happy Wednesday. That's what it is where I am. Um, so today I want to do a um, um, more of a neutral glittery um, we're going to do bloom vines today. So I am just looking at my pillow that I have down. This is Color Place Antique White right out of the can. I think I've got it um, spread out to the edges, but I think I want to add just a little bit more so it's a little thicker. I don't want too too much but I'm going to do the vines kind of in a V shape but with a little bit of curviness to it maybe instead of just being a straight line so we've got that down and I've got paint all over me already okay so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start with Liquitex Quinacridone Magenta. Just a little bit of this because the reds tend to take over. This is more of a pinky magenta. But either way, I don't want too much of it because our other colors are very... All right, let me decide what I'm going to do here. I'm going to do kind of like so. One more. We'll start over here now since this is thinner. On this side. A little more here. All right, that's all I want. I'm not being too heavy handed with this one. Now I'm going to use this little piggy latte. It is a pretty, um, shiny kind of off-white latte color. I have not played with this one yet. And I'm looking forward to trying it in um, a beachy scene because I think this would be a pretty color for the sand. Actually, I know it's a pretty color for the sand from watching other people's videos who have gotten it. Now, I do want to load up on this. And the other neutral colors. Okay, so that's latte. Now we have a copper metallic. This is by USA Art. I bought a, a box of all metallics on Amazon. And I really love them. They're very pretty. It's an off-name brand, I think. I don't see a lot of people using it but I sure like it okay next we have this little piggy sequence this is our interference that has a red tone to it it's very creamy and white looking not creamy that's not how you describe a color um, very um, pastel but 
it leaves a red glisten and shimmer over what you put it on. More like pink, I should say. But I like it. So, um, I didn't show you because I got my canvas ready before I came on camera. But when you put down your pillow, like, um, you know, there, there's certain amounts that are given for smaller canvases. But when you get to these bigger ones, you don't measure it. I never measure. But you kind of want to get it out to about within an inch of the edge. That's how you know when you have enough. And then you want a, um, you know, a pillow in the center. That's why I added some more so it was thicker here to, so that it would be easier to blow. This is this little piggy, Athena. Can you all believe I am branching out from my teals? I bet you can't. So I'm trying different combinations red is not my favorite uh i'm not a fan of reds and but i really like this because it gives a a shimmery neutral tone with a little pop of color all right so i think we have enough down we are going to pop any bubbles that we have with our skewer So yes, when you put your pillow down, you want to get it, you know, within an inch of the edge, usually covering three fourths of your canvas. And then you can always spin off. Okay, bubbles are popped. I don't want this because there's going to be white space, um, negative space on here. So you just run your finger over it. And it just disappears. And then I also want to get this, whoop, going too far. I want to get rid of this right here. Bring it back in. That's good. Okay. So we are ready for our cell activator. I'm going to do this in stages because I don't want it to sink down into my paint while I'm trying to blow this out. I'm going to try to blow it out with my lungs. We will see what happens. That's not my best way of blowing, but it does give the prettiest result. So I like to try at least and see what I can do. So I think we'll start down here and we'll go up this branch. Like so. Here we go. So what I'm doing is I'm puffing my cheeks out like a puffer fish. I found that works best. Time to take a breather. I do not have what it takes, but I'm going to keep going and then we'll touch up with our little blow dryer. No, not working. Little blow dryer. I do not know why I cannot do this with my lungs. So we're going to start from far away.
kind of send that in a little bit. Oh crap, I wanted to use white cell activator too. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm going to get my little tool, and I'm just going to do little embellishments. Don't like that. Just little ones on the edges. You can kind of fix up anything that looks wonky or that got where it didn't belong. I don't like that because that's going to grow. Oh, I like that. Looks like two petals right there. I do like the color combinations. All right, I like that. That one's pretty. Well, it didn't turn out like what I was going for because I forgot I wanted to use white cell activator. But it's pretty nonetheless. And you just kind of look and see where would a petal make sense. A 
Oh, I got a gob in here. Oh, can I get it? Got it. Gob of something. This is really pretty. I like this color combination. Now, this does not make sense to me. So we're going to drag it in. Almost done. And you kind of want to be dragging in always to a same point. Now I think this is a little bit too much black hair. I don't like it, so I'm going to break that up. I may drag some of this into here just to break up that black. It's a little bit too much right here too. But that looks that kind of looks like a flower there. We're going to leave that right there. All right, this looks a little bit too much right here. A little too thick, <clears throat> excuse me. I like that. This kind of needs to be broken up a little bit. All right, I think I'm happy with that. Now you can see the part that I did with my lungs, this part right here has a lot of cells. This didn't do too bad with the blower. This side I didn't get as many cells. All right, and then we're gonna move the blower out of the way. And we're going to get other stuff out of the way. And then we're going to spin slowly so that the paint goes over the edge first. We want it to come out and go, oh, oh this is pretty. Another slow spin. When you spin slow at first, the paint goes out and over. If you spin really fast at first, it just goes out to the side. Okay, so, wow, this is pretty. So we've got to get some down here. We're going to help it along a little bit. It wants to grab onto the dry canvas. So if you put some paint down, if you send some over this way, it'll help it get over the edge. And it's, it's moving. It's really thick, like out here. So it wants to go. So let's spin a little faster now. Well, there's a lot of paint coming off. Pretty. OK, 
Okay, we still need some help over here on this side. We'll go take some from someplace else. You know what? We just need a little bit more paint in this corner. Let's get some. Just a little bit. Not going to mess it up. go all right all our sides have some paint now and I'm going to spin some more we have to get some of that paint off so as you can see this turned out a lot of pink that's what I mean about the pinks and the reds taking over it um, it just does it but this is such a nice and soft and airy little painting I like it oh I just got my finger in there um you do see the coppers and the um, the Athena right there uh, what else did we use the latte that's out here oh really pretty right there and and here and what else did we use? Oh, um, the, um, sequins. That's the interference that gives it that pinkish, pinkish hue. Wow. <laughs> We've got some purple in here that popped up. So that would be, oh, that might be a mixture of the copper and the, um, the magenta so this is the thing you never know what you're gonna get I really well let's spin some more we still have to get paint off of here Oh, I like it. Definitely light and airy. I really don't like this right here, and I almost think I want to make this circle disappear and just have it come out here. So let's see what we can do about that. Let's see. Yes, we made it happen much better okay I like it so we still need to get paint off do it There's one bubble right there. Oh, maybe that's two. Got it. All right. So there we have it. It is pretty. I'll turn it this way so you can see it. Get this hair off of my handle here. Don't know what it's doing there. Um, very light and feathery. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like uh, the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on the little bell that shows you the notifications so you get notifications when I do a new video. Generally, I do one every day, 
one a day, but sometimes every other day. Um, so thank you, everybody. We will see you. Take care.